الآن سنبدأ بحل بعض الأجزامبلز على الـ Conservation of Power in an Electrical Circuit كما نعلم أن من هذه العلاقة أن الـ Power Supplied is equal to the power observed in an electrical circuit such as, as this one so as we discussed before the sign convention if we have an electrical uh, component a voltage across this component is as seen and the current is flowing out of the positive terminal this is this particular element is uh, an active element which supply power it is a source of power means P is equal to minus VI and if the current is entering the positive terminal it's, it is an it's a passive element means it absorb power means P is equal to V into I positive power means absorb and negative power means supply so for this particular example P1 is equal to the voltage multiplied by the current whereas the voltage is 20 volt and the current is leaving the positive terminal thus the current is negative 5 this is negative hundred watts means its supply and for P2 the current is entering the positive terminal means its absorbing power of 12 volt multiplied by 5 amps equal to 60 watts with a positive sign means absorbing power for P3 the current is entering the positive terminal here P3 means that it's 8 volt multiplied by positive 6 because the current is entering the positive terminal of the this element so it's 48 watts with a positive sign it's absorbing as well P4 which is unknown element in the circuit and the current also is unknown but we know that from the conservation law of energy that P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 must equal to 0 so P4 is equal to negative P1 plus P2 plus P3 it's equal to minus minus 100 plus 60 and plus 48 and this gives us minus 8 watts 
means it means that it's a source which supply a power of 8 watts to the other circuit elements for this second example we want also to compute P1, P2 and P3 and P4 so using the sign convention for P1 the current is leaving the positive terminal means that 5 volt multiplied by negative 8 amperes gives us minus 40 watts it is supplying power for P2 the current is entering the positive terminal means that for P2 the current is entering the positive terminal means that 2 volt multiplied by 8 amps gives us 16 watts it's observing for P3 the current is entering the positive terminal it is th 3 amp multiplied by 0 0.6 I volts the current is positive here and this is volt because it's a dependent voltage current controlled source so the current controls the voltage value of this dependent source so positive 3 amps multiplied by 0.6 I volt which is 3 multiplied by 0.6 where I is 5 amps multiplied by 5 it's 9 volt 9 watts which observing as well so the remaining is P4 the current is entering the positive terminal so it's 3 volt multiplied by 5 amps gives us 15 watts and we can check our answer by substituting the values of P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 and see if it's equal to 0 so minus 40 plus 9 plus 15 plus 16 is equal to 0 and it, it's checked